So it's been more than two hours since a voting ended and presumably the rival party leaders and the candidates are anxiously waiting for the results. Let's go over now to the National Assembly where our political correspondent Ji Myung Gil is standing by. And so Myung Gil, uh, how are the parties uh, getting ready to hear the results? Hello again, Cherry. You are right. Both rival parties are anxiously awaiting results, which are expected to be more clearly revealed within the hour. The ruling Hanoi Party's chairman, Kim Mu Hong, and the party's Supreme Council members are monitoring the ballot countings at Hanoi Party's headquarters. The main opposition, New Politics Alliance for Democracy's co leaders, are now at the National Assembly and are discussing and analyzing the neck and neck regions within the party's co within the party's electoral districts. Candidates from both rival parties are at their respective camps monitoring the situation and taking a short rest after nearly two weeks of election campaigns. They are hoping that although the by-election coincided with the summer vacation season, people got out to cast ballots after work in the respective constituencies. Traditionally, if the voter turnout is high in a specific district, then the votes tend to work in favor of the opposition parties. But if the voter turnout is low, then it usually works in favor for the governing party. And as ballot counting is still ongoing, both rival parties do not have a clear view yet on who will be the winner. But they're not letting down their hopes of victory in traditional stronghold regions. The ruling Henry Party is expected to win in the conservatives' home turf in the city of Ulsan and Pusan in Gyeongsangnam-do province. While the main opposition New Politics Alliance for Democracy is hoping to take in seats for the liberal strongholds of the Cholla-Namdo provinces. As voter turnout topped 50%, in the Suncheon and Gokseong regions, hopes are high for the main opposition party. The unpredictable districts are especially focused within Seoul and Gyeonggi-do province, areas surrounding the capital. The rival party's candidates are also showing neck-and-neck -neck races in the city of Suwon and Pyeongtaek. In the Suwon city constituency, the former opposition party leader, Son Ak-kyu, is running against the ruling party candidate, Kim yong na In the Suwon D constituency, former President Lee myung baks chief of staff, Im Tae-hee, is running against former news anchor and reporter, Park kwang on But again, we'll have to wait and see for the ballot count to see which party garners most support.